Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I don't have a cute background and this shelf here needs a little more work to get fully organized, but I wanted to make this video anyway because a lot of you guys have told me you don't care, it doesn't have to look right, you just like the information. So thank you so much. I promise one day I will have a little bit more of a cute background and a little bit more of a structured YouTube situation going on, but right now the best I can do is film from my office and share information with you. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, for those of you that might be new here, my name is Ashley. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I also resell on eBay and Amazon part-time while I stay home with my boys. And today we are going to do another what sold on eBay video. I'm just gonna share a few of the things that have sold recently for me on eBay, for how much, what I picked them up for, and my thinking behind each purchase in the hopes that it might help you as you are outsourcing and finding things to maybe give some insights. I just always think it's interesting to see what other people sell and what they buy because all of us are different and what sells for me might not sell for you and what doesn't sell for other people might sell for you. So it's kind of interesting to me regardless um, what people choose to put in their eBay stores. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. First is this Anthropology Lil Silk Chevron dress. It was really pretty, it's brand new with tags. I picked this up at a yard sale like eight months ago, so it sat for a while. I picked it up for $1, so that's why I grabbed it. I was really excited about it. I may have priced this a little bit too high, that's probably why it sat for a while, but it did sell for full price eight months later, so um, worth the investment. It took a while, but it did end up selling, so I am pleased with that purchase. Next time though, to get it moving, I probably would have priced it a little bit lower. Next are these BKE Tyler Fit denim jeans. BKE is sold at Buckle, and it's a brand that does not do well for me for women, but for men, it actually does okay. I picked these up at the Goodwill outlet. They were $1.45 when you average out what I got per pound, and they sold within like a week, so I'm really pleased with this purchase. Again, men's denim tends to do a lot better for me these days than women's. So I'm going to go ahead and continue picking up men's kind of more expensive denim, because it moves a little bit more quickly for me. Speaking of men's denim, these are men's Levi's Silver Tab jeans, and the Silver Tab is pretty easy to spot. Um, these kinds of jeans do sell pretty well, not for tons of money, but when you get them for like a dollar or two, it's totally worth the flip. These Helly Hansen snowboard pants were an estate sale pickup. I did pay up for them a little bit, $10, and it took a few weeks for them to sell, but eventually they did for full price. And Helly Hansen's like a really nice snowboard ski brand. So whenever I see it, I do end up picking it up, usually if it's in good condition, especially their jackets and snowboard pants. Those tend to do pretty well, so I grabbed them and they sold. Just make sure for Helly Hansen that you put in as many keywords as possible. On the interior label, it'll usually have some kind of tech XP like style name associated with it, it's always a good idea to throw that into your title so that people who are searching for that particular style can find it a little more easily. These J. Crew pants were a Goodwill outlet find, so I paid a little over a dollar for them, and I thought they were really cute, kind of a recent style, and they sold within a couple of weeks for $18 plus $6 shipping. I mean, this isn't like an exciting price, but I love selling stuff like this when I pick it up at the Goodwill outlet. $20, $30, that's like my goal price for the things that I pick up, and I just noticed for me that a lot of these items that sell for $20, $30, even less, just sell faster than the more expensive items. So it keeps my store moving. It's like my bread and butter. My average sale price for my store overall is $34, which I'm really pleased with because most of the things I pick up are two to $5 maximum. So brands like J. Crew, Banana Republic, sometimes those will sell for only $20 or so, but they're a quicker sell and they kind of keep my store active and moving. Vince is a super fancy Nordstrom brand. It retails, if you ever go to Nordstrom and like look at the actual price tag, retails for so much money. But the resale value can be really hit or miss for me. So with this Vince, uh, alpaca cashmere little shrug kind of cardigan I priced it maybe a little too low it sold really fast but I just have found that when I price Vince high it just sits forever so because I picked this up for like two dollars I wanted a quick flip and sure enough it sold for $28 plus six dollars shipping which I was pleased with Vince is a brand that's great but you just have to price it right 
This Free People beaded long sleeve cream top sold for $24.99 plus $4.95 shipping. I love selling these like long sleeve thermal type or cotton boho style Free People tops. They just consistently sell really well for me. And even the picture, like I kind of cringe looking at it. It's not perfect. Um, it's a little wrinkled and it doesn't look great. But honestly, you guys, like I have done the super fancy pictures, everything looking perfect and no wrinkles in sight on a mannequin. And it just is not worth the time for me. It's just much easier to lay it on the ground, take some clean pictures and me take measurements for the customer and it still sells. So I don't know, maybe yeah, I could have gotten five or 10 more dollars for it if I had made it really fancy looking. But considering I paid only $4 for this top, I'm really happy that it sold for 30 bucks. So there you go, that's just my opinion. These Sam Edelman espadrilles were real leather. That's why I kind of grabbed them and gravitated towards them in the first place. Summer is approaching and I knew people would be wanting like the espadrilles, the straw flats, things like this, the slip on shoes. So I grabbed them and they had a lot of watchers right away and sold for $30 plus $10 shipping. They didn't cost $10 to ship so I actually made a little bit more money because of the shipping. Um, but I'm really pleased with the sale. They were in great condition and I think they will make someone pretty happy. I do think about the seasons as I'm shopping. Will I still get coats and stuff for summer? Yeah, I it's cold somewhere. <laughs> but I do kind of think, okay, what are people shopping for? I do try to seek out shorts and sandals and espadrilles for like spring summer. Um, short sleeve tops, you know, more crew neck type t-shirts. But um, if I see a great jacket or a great coat or a great sweater, of course I'll pick it up. I don't care about the season. <laughs> Sundance Catalog is a great brand for me. I love picking it up and I love finding it. It's like a fancy brand. It's actually kind of local to Utah. Um, Sundance Utah is where Robert Redford like is kind of famously known to own property and to have started Sundance Company. So anyway, this red velvet jacket was really cute. It was an estate sale find for $1. So I grabbed it, it sold within a month and I'm really pleased with that sale. I thought it was really interesting and unique. Again, Sundance Catalog kind of has a following. If you ever find Sundance suede shearling leather jackets, they are worth a ton of money. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah, this blazer sold for $29 plus $6 shipping. So turning a dollar into $35 is just fine with me. Another Harley Davidson button down shirt sold. This one had heavily embroidered flames on the back, which was really cool. It was in excellent condition. Again, these shirts I've been getting 35 to $40 for each of them. And I'm really pleased with that considering I got them all at an estate sale for a really good price. So these Harley shirts and jackets and things like that have been slowly and steadily selling for me, which makes me really happy. This is another Free People Thermal. It sold for $20 plus $5 shipping, which I'm totally pleased with. I thought it was really cute. I actually thought I'd get a little bit more for it, but I think it was early in the morning. Like if I get an offer early in the morning, I tend to accept those more often than later in the day. And I think that's because when you kind of start your day with sales on eBay for whatever reason, and I don't know, if this is just me, I continue to see sales roll in throughout the day. So I'm more likely to accept a lower offer in the morning just to get the ball rolling with sales that day. So that's kind of why I sold this for $20 plus $5 shipping. I think I paid $5 for it. So that's plenty of profit for me to be happy. These Kate Spade blue kind of skinny jeans were actually in the dollar section, like a special dollar clearance section of a thrift store. So I dug through, I found them and I immediately was so excited. Took them home, took some pictures and sure enough, they sold for over $30 and I'm always happy to sell items that I get for a dollar for 20 to 30 bucks, of course. They said they were a size 25, but I take measurements of everything that I photograph, and I noticed that the waist measurement was really different from the sizing. So I went ahead and I noted that in the title just so that people were aware. Um, sometimes if something is a smaller, says it's a, si a certain size, it actually can measure to be a different size. So if I notice that the measurements and the sizing look really off, I will disclose that right in the title so that no one is mistaken. So that does help with returns and with negative feedback. 
Here is another Harley Davidson vest. This is a leather vest. It's actually not Harley Davidson branded. It was just a an unbranded leather vest that had a big Harley Davidson patch on the back. So I picked this up at that estate sale. It sold for $55 plus $10 shipping. I was hoping to get a little bit more out of it, but considering it wasn't branded Harley Davidson, it was an off brand, I was pleased with that sale anyway. And again, I just wanted to kind of keep this stuff moving along. If I ever do have something that has a unique patch or logo on the back of the item or the shirt, I will put that as my cover image rather than the front. So I try to highlight the unique thing about that item because a lot of people are just scrolling past and if it's just the front and they just see it's blank, they probably won't click on it. But because it's the back of the item has the big patch, they're more likely to click through and maybe look at it. That's just kind of my thinking. These Doc Martens took forever to sell. So I don't know that I would pick them up again. Um, but I do love picking up Doc Martens usually. Um, these were just not the cutest. They're kind of ugly. That's probably a factor. Um, really different, not the standard, you know, lace up classic ones that we see, but they did end up selling for $30 plus $5 shipping. I was pleased with that. Got them moving out of my store. So it's funny on eBay, things eventually do sell. It just may take a little bit longer. So I sell car parts. I purchased a liquidation locally of like 600 plus car parts last, like a year and a half ago. And slowly but surely they've all been selling and it's been awesome because I paid about $6 per part. Each of them has been selling for between 50 to $150 on average. So I'm really pleased with that. And every now and then these sales will just trickle in. So sure enough, even though it's been a little bit, this grill has sold and I shipped it off. So they're extremely easy to ship. They're extremely easy to inventory and categorize. I did basically two days of work on these car parts and they've been paying off ever since. This is a vintage Shot Brothers jacket that I found for $5 and Shot is a really cool brand if you can find like the vintage leather jackets. This was just a basic canvas jacket so it didn't go for as much money but I was really pleased with it considering I got $45 out of it. It was only $5 to ship and it cost me $5 to purchase. So it really wasn't a bad buy but next time I will definitely look out for the leather jackets or like some of the more unique styles and patterns. This even had some tearing in the lining that I disclosed and took pictures of, but it was still purchased at a decent price. So I will take that any day. This Robert Graham women's dress had been sitting forever, <laughs> but finally it sold for $25 plus shipping, um, which is fine with me. I think I wanted a little bit more out of it. Again, this was a, an item that I just overpriced probably, and it just sat for that long because of that fact. Robert Graham is a brand that used to do so well on eBay, but recently just hasn't sold for as much. I don't know why, maybe the market got oversaturated. That's fine. Um, but yeah, this dress finally sold for $25 plus shipping. I'm pleased with it. It's out of my store. It was really cute, so I hope that whoever bought it enjoys it. These Corral boots I purchased for $8 at a thrift store. Corral is a brand that is sold at Buckle. Buckle also sells BKE, Miss Me, Lucky Brand, what else? Bed stew, all, all kinds of different shoes and jeans. And it just depends sometimes on whether or not I'll pick it up. But these are intentionally distressed, they're knee high, and they retail for a ton of money. I picked them up thinking I could get over $100 for them. I ended up taking a best offer of $75 because I was just happy to keep them moving. And I only paid $8. I try not to be greedy. I just wanted the sale. So I hope whoever owns them now loves them because I think they got a pretty good deal. And I'm happy with the transaction as well. So yeah, these don't be discouraged if you see these boots and they're really distressed. They're actually meant to be that way a lot of times. Look up the item number, look up the style, and see if it was intentionally designed that way, because a lot of times it is. This is a Trina Turk zebra print style, kind of, I'm not exactly zebra, it's like a graphic print silk dress. It's really pretty, it was like a stretchy silk dress, and I purchased it for $5. It sold for $30 plus $5 shipping in one day. So. Maybe I could have gotten a little bit more out of it, but I just wanted to keep it moving. I'll take best offers just to keep things going in my store. So sold pretty quickly. It's a short sleeve dress. So Trina Turk is a designer in LA. When I price it right, it moves pretty quickly. And last but not least is this Free People blouse. It's a sleeveless kind of tie back button front blouse. It's really cute. It's like a peplum style as well. Um, I picked this up for $4 and it sold for $30 plus $5 shipping. 
Again, free people, I just love to sell. <laughs> like the boho style is so in right now and they just seem to do it right. So anytime I see free people almost, I will just grab it and I love it. It has this cute floral design. I really liked the bow detail in this, so that's kind of why I picked it up. If it was just a standard basic tank top, maybe I wouldn't have. But with the bow and with the unique pattern and the peplum style, I just had to grab it and it sold pretty quickly. So there you have it. Those are a few of the things that have sold recently for me on eBay. Again, not a lot of these are like anything super exciting, but these are the kinds of sales I get. They just trickle in throughout the day, throughout the week. Big ones here, small ones here, all of them matter to me because I do try to keep my prices really low on everything. For me, that is the fastest way I've been able to grow by buying really cheap and selling $20, $30. And then of course those fun, more expensive finds, the boots, the Harley Davidson that sell for a little bit more. Those are a little exciting, but, but my store thrives off of the less expensive sales day in and day out. So. Anyway, I hope this helped you. I hope you found it informative. If you liked it, please go ahead and click the thumbs up so that I know to make more videos like this. And if you like this channel, you want more reselling content, more snippets of my day, how I run my business, please subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments always videos that you would like to see in the future because I do appreciate your feedback and I, it does help me with the content that I want to create for you. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day, and until next time, I will catch you later.